I'm here today with my Uni Fira, and I'm here to tell you that I regret purchasing this pellet fueled pizza oven. Today, I'm gonna to give you a few reasons why, if I could go back two years, I would have never bought this pizza oven. Stick around, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. So two years ago, the Uni Fira, it is being pushed all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, and to be honest with you, it looked like an awesome pizza oven. Now, I'm going to tell you that it actually is, but that doesn't mean that I still don't regret purchasing it. Now look, I am an Uni affiliate, and if you're thinking about purchasing an Uni, I have a link down in the description that will tell Uni that I sent you there, and I'll get a little bit of commission off of it. Now, I think Uni makes a great product, and the Fira is a great product, but it's not exactly for everyone. With no gas options and a super lightweight foldable, and they have a carrying case, it is super compact and easy to move around. If you're someone who's gonna be picking up and taking your pellet fueled pizza oven or your pizza oven everywhere you go, camping, your in-laws house, wherever it may be, the Uni Fira could be a great pizza oven for you. The thing is, it's not a great pizza oven for me. I am not a pizza expert. Now I've made some kick-ass pizzas in this oven, but I'll tell you the truth. It's a lot more difficult to manage the fire and the temperatures in this oven and still make great pizza that is cooked thoroughly throughout. Now I have been able to do that and I'm gonna tell you one of my main complaints with the Uni Fira and that is temperature control. You have this little baffle here, but it really is difficult to dial in and truthfully doesn't do a whole lot other than either choke the fire out or be wide open pedal to the metal. With that being said, you're gonna be reaching temperatures of upwards of 900 degrees in this pizza oven. And yes, Uni does promote that you can cook a pizza in like 60 to 90 seconds, and it does. But if you're not on top of it, rotating it, door off, whatever, you're gonna burn the outside. And when I say burn, I'm talking char the outside, and the inside's still gonna be raw. The dough's gonna be mushy. The toppings aren't gonna be ready to go. What you really need and what they need on this is a little bit more controllability. So that doesn't mean that the Fira is a bad pizza oven. Like I said, I've made some great pizzas on the Uni Fira, but, but lacking that temperature control makes it more difficult as an operator, as someone who is not a pizza expert. And by that, I am not. I am not a pizza expert. So if I go back two years, two and a half years ago, when I purchased the Uni Fira, which I'm gonna tell you right now, if I haven't already, I purchased this with my own money before I was ever an affiliate. Later on, after posting some videos, I became an affiliate with Uni because I really do stand behind their products and them as a company. But I did purchase this with my own money. So if I could go back two and a half years, I would purchase one of their other pizza ovens. Now, what would I choose? Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'll tell you the one thing that I would look for, that would be gas. I could control the temperature much better with gas. You can regulate it, they have dials. It's completely different experience. And you don't have to worry about managing pellets. Now, I'll tell you, I, I did a, I don't know, two and a half or four month update a, a year and a half, two years ago about this Uni Fira and as you use it, the pellets jam up in the hopper, so you constantly have to be monitoring this. And truthfully, even a fully loaded hopper is only gonna last you 15 minutes. So you don't have a lot of time to make pizzas, prepare the dough, stretch the dough, put the sauce and toppings on, get the pizzas in and out, rotate and manage the fire. It can be cumbersome because there's a lot of things that you have to manage and maintain while you're making pizza. With a gas option, you don't have to worry about that. Fill your propane tank and it's gonna last you all summer, unless you're cooking a lot of pizzas, but still, just get it refilled and you don't have to worry about it for weeks on end. That's something that the Uni Fire lacks. You don't have a lot of time in between pizzas, especially if you've got company and you're making a lot at one time, you don't have that. And it's very easy for this to burn out or the pellets get jammed and you don't realize that, you have to take a screwdriver or something to poke down back through the hopper to knock the pellets down onto the burner. And if you're not paying attention, it'll easily burn out. It's happened to me time and time again. Like I said, the Fira is a great pizza oven, but it has a couple little flaws and they're not for everybody. If I was you, 
or if I was someone looking to honestly purchase an uni pizza oven right now, if you aren't set on pellets, or you're not set on a price point, or you're not confined to a price point, I would go the next step up and get the Karu. You get the Karu, you can get the multi-fuel option, and that is going to give you the ultimate experience. You could still use pellets, go ahead, but you also have the propane option, which is going to give you the most ease of use. And to be honest with you, to me, time is money and inconvenience is also a factor in there. I don't wanna be bothered by needing to poke the pellets down or reload on pellets because I only have 15 minutes of fuel. I wanna hook a 20 pound tank up to this thing and let it run for as long as I need it to and not be bothered or worried about keeping the fire going. So if we're gonna talk about price, the Uni Fira, it comes in at $350. Actually, when I purchased it, and to be honest with you, a lot has changed over the past two to two and a half years. We all know that, we all lived through it. Uh, but the price on this, I believe, was $250 when I purchased it. It's up to $350 now. You can buy a gas option or a multi-fuel option for $399. So for $50 more, you can get gas or a multi-fuel option. Now with the Karu 12, you do have to purchase a gas adapter, which is an additional $100. So to have multi-fuel where you could run pellets and to have gas is gonna cost you about uh, $500, about $150 more than the Uni Fira. But I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're serious about pizza and you are gonna be using this quite a bit, just go for the gas option. And if you want the multi-fuel where you can run hardwood, pellets, charcoal, then get the Karu and get the gas attachment. Make it easy, don't regret your decision like I did. That being said, I told you, I like the Fira. It's a great product, it's ran great, but it's for a very specific person. I'm not that person, that's the truth. If you like this video, I do have more videos on my Uni Fira. Go ahead and check them out right here.